Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I painted this desolate winter landscape with a flock of birds arising up into the leaden grey sky. I'm going to be using the wet in wet technique and a combination of brushes and a piece of flexible plastic card. It's a plastic store card to apply the paint to the page and then when the paint is still wet I'm going to add a little bit of ordinary table salt into the foreground to create the pretty um, suggestions of plants and um, a tangle of undergrowth in the foreground. Today I'm using a piece of Milford cold pressed watercolour paper, 140 pounds weight. It's taped to my board and my board is at an angle of about 20 degrees. Here's the card and I've squeezed out fresh paint from the tube for this. And the colours that I've squeezed out here is a little drop of burnt sienna, sepia, indigo, and Payne's Grey. I'll be using a large wash brush and wetting the sky area and parts of the rest of the page. Um, so I have some dry paper and some wet paper. So that means it'll help me to get the soft edges where the paper's wet and harder edges where it's dry when I begin to paint. So the scene is almost set and I'm using my palette knife to scrape through the damp paint and to create the suggestions of reeds and grasses in this marshy scene. Of course, an abstract scene like this could be interpreted however you want it to. It could be a marsh, it could be a beach just as easily with a headland in the distance in shadow. When I'm happy with the foreground texture, I'm going to take a little ordinary fine table salt and when I judge that the paint is damp and not too wet but not too dry I can sprinkle just a little table salt and the granules um, should push away the damp paint and give me the effects of little suggested flowers, uh, weeds, seed heads, 
brambles, that sort of thing. And then I can just go in and flatten out a few of the lines that were created earlier uh, by sort of printing the paint onto the paper with the plastic card and just strengthen up some of the shadows and flatten out some of the horizontals. And I'm happy with it at that stage. I'm going to let it dry and let the salt work its magic and create the foreground for me. Here's the dry painting and I'm really pleased with it. I'm going to take a, um, a clean dry brush and brush off any remaining little salt crystals that weren't dissolved by the paint and the water. And um, if I zoom you in a little bit you can see some of the pretty shapes that have been made in and around my etched marks and I'm hoping that you can see that the contrast of this suggested detail in the foreground works really well with the more abstract marks in the middle ground and background. I'm going to now paint in my flock of birds using a small detail brush. This one's by ProArt um, from their Master Stroke Series 60 miniature brushes. I'm quite happy with that. I think those little marks there do suggest a flock of birds rising up from the marsh or the beach, however you see this painting. I've really enjoyed this, removing um, the tape and looking at it with its clean white border helps us to see it as a whole painting. Um, using the tape helps me to sort of paint off over the tape so that my expressive brushwork isn't limited by the size of the paper, if you see what I mean. And that means when I take the tape off, then I can have fresher brushwork. Just adding one last little bird there, and that's me done. Well, I hope you enjoyed um, watching this demonstration as much as I enjoyed painting it. Um, I feel a real sense of freedom in painting in this way sometimes, um, just trying to sort of let the paint flow and see what happens and then trying to kind of make an interesting scene out of the marks, some of which are very random that you can get from this sort of abstract technique for painting abstract landscapes. Well, if you enjoyed this, please um, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and consider supporting either of us on Patreon. The links are in the description below. And many thanks as always to everyone that supports us on Patreon. I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.